Hi there, hello. Welcome to my show. I'm having kind of a late start this morning, so I won't have a lot of time because somebody decided it would be good to get up in the middle of the morning to try to snipe this champ training contest I was doing. Champ training tournament. I won't say who. It was me. Anyway, let's get to the fights. Yeah, I gained like 4,000 points in about 7 minutes. Somebody tried to do that to me in a training tournament at another time. So that's where I learned it. So I'll say somebody else started it. Yeah, that's right. Somebody else started it. So we got 48 minutes to do all of our fights today. I think I can manage. I can simply be ruthless in my decisions to which fights to keep and which ones to drop. It'll be kind of like... Kind of like gear cleansing. You'll you'll see gear that you're like, oh, this could pan out well, but if you're not sure, you may as well get rid of it. That said, it looks like the system isn't sure about what opponent to give me today, so I guess we'll just ride out the clock again. So this will chew into a bit of time. Um, now, the upshot of doing a turning tournament training tournaments at the last possible minute is I did have some champions I wanted to build and I and I just I just six starred them so I six starred Kaja the Rai I six starred Hegemon I six starred the new champ that I just pulled in the big shard pull video that I still haven't posted because I haven't figured out how to fix it I'm in the midst of trying to make things better on this channel. I'm trying to make thumbnails. I think I'm almost there. So I have some more short videos I'd like to post, but I, I want to I wanna make them look a little more professional than they already do. Anyway, let's get started. I'm going to start with Sun Wukong. I also picked up a kind of a fun classic arena style of um of fighting i'm also doing the 3v3 i'm trying to get them faster and better if not faster at least put together arena teams that don't involve me i could just put them on and let them run in the background Plarium, if you're listening this is the complaint that i haven't made much before but tag arena is utterly pointless it's the same thing but three times why just why? And there's something about the ranking system in Tag Arena that's just completely messed up. Like players that have no problem reaching gold 5 in Classic can't get to gold 1 in Tag. And gold 1 is a milestone people have to reach if they want to get ramen 2, I believe. I believe you have to reach at least gold 1. So I, I was in gold 3 last week, tried to stay in and just couldn't. So that's why I'm working on better teams. Anyway, we're dealing with Taras today. He's always fun. Let's, um, since it's the first fight of the day and I usually lose anyway, let's, uh, let's just bring in some support. Kind of a lazy idea for a team. Right now I'm thinking I'll just ban the Taras. Unless he brings Marichka, in which case I will ban her. I also have healthy respect for Kaimar, so I could even see myself banning him. And he has that reset, and he has that cleanse in the sleep. Hey, there's Hegemon. And I have a new respect for Hegemon. Uh, I think it's T Tiriaku, Tyraku, you know what I mean. He calls him the Magic Eraser, and if you, if you watch some of his arena videos, you'll see why. Um, so I want to build my hegemon like his. I'll see if I can get that up and running by the end of the week. Um, I want at least one more. You know what? Now that I see UDK and no cleansers, I kind of want to bring some bombers. So I'll bring two bombers.
Um, and I think I might even eliminate Kaimar. Really is a tough call. Let's get rid of the Kaimar. I think he's actually the most dangerous at this point. So we'll bring in Monkey King as my aura lead. So how's everybody feeling today? You can you just let me know in the comments. Like just just you know like what's up? Also, we've got four slots free in the uh, clan now. If you happen to want to join a chill clan that's still pretty endgame, you should join our clan. There will be a link in the description. We didn't actually lose a member. We just uh, lost an extra account one of the members was running. He decided that with his computer down, it uh, just isn't feasible to run to, and I understand that. I have been there. Sometimes people will push extra accounts onto me, and then I have to figure out what to do with those. So, this is already kind of looking up. It's just, it's just plans. This team doesn't look like it had much of a long-term plan. I don't want to remove this... Yeah, okay, there we go. I was going to say, I'm going to waste this attack, because... The bombs are worse under stone skin. So anyway, good good game, you chill. You seem like a chill guy. A Nitro X is here. That's a very um That's a very fast and furious kind of name. So he's bringing Pythion. I'll bring... Maybe I'll bring Duchess and Mithrala. Now, you know what? You know what? You know what? Yes. Mithrala. But I'll bring uh, Sun Wukong. Sun Wukong, I think, is simply not necessarily my best champion, but often my worst enemy. So I figure... I'm going to pick him as often as possible, so I don't have to deal with him. I also pulled uh, my best champions out of the vault again, but I, I've simplified. So there are fewer people on the available roster now. Like, it really just goes to Newt, who has three stars now. I just haven't uh, just haven't claimed it yet. But this is, they even fit on one page. I love this. I can see them all at once. So let's bring in... I will bring Duchess. I, I'd like to have the support. He does have a stripper here. That's interesting. These are champions you don't normally see in Live Arena. So maybe I'll bring a cleanser just in case. And my last person will have to be a nuker for the balancing. Razzlevarg. I don't think I've ever seen Razzlevarg in Live Arena before. He's going to be making their team very fast. Although not necessarily any faster than an Arbiter or a Lysandra. Or um, Morrigan. Ah, this is interesting. Okay, I think I see the theory here. You put out a whole bunch of buffs and then you use her to strip. Um, so for a second nuker, maybe I'll bring... Uh, I'm going to bring this guy. He'll be good. I could even bring Helicath, just in case there's like a lot of unkillable on everybody. And I want to use that. So let's bring Helicath. I'll just eliminate... I'll just eliminate Seer. You know when I have Helicath, I like to have UDK, but um, 
I was going to say Sun Wukong can function as a, as a poor man's UDK, but I guess he can't. So let's see. We'll, we'll start with... Uh, maybe I'll go with the Defense Aura. And we'll start by targeting Pytheon, since he's the only Reviver. It looks like we both basically went for the one obvious DPS champion. But my Helicath is still pretty good at that. Hopefully good enough. He's only got one Reviver. So he uses his Shed Skin. And up goes the block damage. Uh, I'll put on my increased speed. Uh... I won't waste the increased attack yet. I mean, nobody needs increased attack. What I mean is, I suppose, I want to hold off and, and place my block debuffs maybe a turn or two later. Although I don't see a huge degree of debuffs here. I know Al's Gore can have the decreased speed thing whenever... Uh, I think it's off as A1. I do want the increased defense that's going to make Helicath better. And now you have no choice but to hit me. So come on, hit me. And I did say I was in a hurry. I mean, I got about 38 minutes left to do all my fights. It looks like I can probably kill him in about three hits. Hard to judge by the health bar. Might take a little longer if he takes forever for each turn. I suppose this could be one of those days where I, where I actually hold on to the extra tokens for the next day, but I don't like doing that because it's hard to get to them. And, you know, I should bear that in mind. Pytheon does have that ability to restore his own health with his A1. Pytheon really is a fantastic cannon. Uh, do I want to throw this in now? No, not yet. Alright, well, let's cleanse this up. And actually, let's get some increased speed up. I really want to boot it and go after that Pytheon. Every time he gets himself a turn, it slows me down. It's a good time for the AoE, though. This fight... This isn't... It's not like this is going to be a challenging fight. This is more of a... War of attrition, but... He doesn't have the best staying power here. So that gets rid of his Pytheon. Now it's just a matter of time before I pick off everybody else. 
We'll get rid of Alzor next. So he can't block damage on us anymore. Maybe we'll put up block debuffs just to... Just to clinch... Clinch... Just to clinch the idea. We can't be slapped about. Now I think he's just being stubborn. Not wanting to resign. Even though it's obvious you've lost Anti-Nitro X. It's obvious. Um, yeah. Or maybe he's walked away from his terminal in disgust and it's been on auto. You know what? His moves are coming so fast, I think he's actually just on auto. He probably saw this fight and was like, this is going to take forever. I'm going to leave it on auto and I'm going to have a glass of wine. Or tea or coffee or whatever his drink of choice is. Anyway, good game, Anti-Nitro X. I like the theory behind your team. The execution wasn't perfect, but I I, th I think that strategy could work. The, um, I mean, having tons and tons of buffs to put up and then using Seer is a very inspired idea, especially if you see an opposing team that looks like they're going to have a lot of buffs. You just have to figure out what to do if they ban the Seer. Of course, anybody who has a Seer and a Taras together, now that would be difficult to deal with. Because now you've got Two different champions that can do it. And now you have to choose. Do you want to stick with the Taras? Who's going to let the enemy team keep their buffs and hit super hard? Or the Seer? Who's going to take your buffs as well as the enemy buffs? And hit you super hard. So let's go with... Uh, uh, I definitely want the Monkey King. I think I definitely want Mithrala. It's really, really, really... Difficult to put Mithrala asunder. She's my jam. She's my person. Ugh, Warlord. You know I want to get rid of Warlord. So let's bring, uh, let's bring him. So I have some way to kind of counter revive mechanics. I'm gonna need some, uh, some good, some good damage. You know, I definitely want Helicath. Just because of the uh, Taras that I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to let him keep. So hopefully I can just take UDK. It'll be a reasonably balanced team. I could also go for a Reviver. I could take Pytheon again. I could take Duchess again. Maybe I'll take Duchess. Gofford can com prevent the first death, so he could be good too. Okay, there we go. He's got a block revive champ. So now I'm I'm thinking I, I don't want to bother with revives. So we'll just take we'll just take a team that I try to keep alive. I won't be able to function with him. Now if that Uko strips too many of our buffs and we start getting knocked about, we'll just lose very quickly. And I'm okay with this because we are low on time. And, uh, you know. So here we go. Uh, I'll go with the Defense Aura. Wow, look at that rating 4,000. So I'm not super hopeful for this fight. But I'm not going down without a fight, you know. You know how it is. I didn't say it'd be a long fight. I said, I'm not going down without a fight. I will fight for like two seconds. So, Uko's Fury strips Helicath. Just Helicath. Interesting. Boom. Constant pressure. Not enough to kill Helicath. Wow. So let's cleanse off Helicath. Let's get these block damages up. 
I really wanted to get increased defense on him first, but you got to work with what you got. I don't think I'm going to have the strength to one-shot anybody. I mean, I could try. You know what? I'm going to go for the AoE first. All right, I might actually be able to get Uko in one shot. So on my next turn, we'll go for him. Or maybe a Nithui. He's probably good and squishy. And he's... I mean, Taras probably still does just as much damage. In fact, at this point, the, the main attraction would be Taras. He brings in the big damage. They all have to go down. Uh, yeah, I'd prefer the timing if he didn't have block debuffs up, but what can you do? I need the increased defense, so here it is. We can hit a lot harder now with Helicath. Maybe I'll go for this now. Uh, yeah, let's go for the AoE. Um, and let's, uh, let's target him, just so his revive doesn't get him up. That poison might even be enough to kill Inithwi. I think we got it. I think we got it. We even got lucky. We got a reset here. So I can just put up the block damage again. Uh, yeah, good game. 69 degrees. Got 27 minutes left to do how many fights? Was nice to win that tournament, though. That does give me three stars for my Newt. Um, I think that brings the chance of landing his uh, his smite. Ooh, fastest win ever. We may we may have time for ten fights after all, folks. Um, let's see. I think it's thirty percent per hit, and Newt has a triple hitter, so I've got him in Brimstone. Uh, and a 30% times 3. To do the math, you actually have to invert it. So it's like there's a 70% chance you don't score the brimstone on the first hit. So then you get a 70% chance on the second and a 70% chance on the third. So it's 70% squared and then inverted again. And that's how you do the maths. I don't have a calculator. Actually, I do. And since we got time, I can tell you exactly what the chances of brimstone are on Newt with three stars. So it's a 0.7 times 10 to the power of 3 minus 1. Let's go with Sun Wukong. 65.7% uh, So that's pretty good. That means any time Newt uses one of his triple hitters, 65.7% chance of landing Brimstone. I am happy with that. That is going to make my run super, super duper good. So I'll bring Mithrala I see stuff like this and I want bombs, so let's go ahead and take a bomber. I also kind of want ramen too. Maybe I'll start with ramen too and pick the bombers after. Since it's rare that I see bombers, I think people are likelier to pick ramen too, particularly at this level. I expect people that are in gold two in live arena probably have ramen too, because if you're in gold two in live arena, you're probably you're probably in gold two in tag arena. Just got two cleansers. I, I can live with that. Let's go with the bombers. And let's hope the timing works out. And he's got a Rotos. 
All right, so let's just uh, let's eliminate Pythion. Or do I want to get rid of Harima? I mean, she has that she has that a uh, blasted polymorph, but I, I think I'm okay with that. So let's let's lead with the accuracy. Things have the potential to go wrong here, but they have the potential to go right. And if they go right, they will go right tremendously quickly. And if they go wrong, they will go wrong tremendously quickly. So either way, we're going to be out of here in no time. So Kael'thas, I don't anticipate a long game. Oh yeah, he's got the auto revive. And the block debuffs, that's, that's going to be rough to deal with. Oh, I'm not sure what to do about that. Oh, uh, you know what? I maybe had a chance, but I'm just going to give it to you. I'm in a hurry. So, uh, good game. Good game, Kael'thas. Let's take our tokens. Let's keep going. We've got 24 minutes to do five fights. Yeah, the protection, I got to bear in mind. When people can protect block debuffs in particular, but also protecting things like um, like the auto revive, and that's not even a protection set. That's just Cardiel's latent ability. It does make things more awkward if I if I need to blow them up in one shot. So maybe that isn't an S tier strategy. It just happens to be fast. So I'll take Mithrala and um, and Ramen too. Leave myself the options again. Now I'm wishing I'd taken Sun Wukong. Three revivers. Oh my. Okay. Well, let's let's take some block revive mechanics then, and uh, I wish I had a second champ that was good at that. I suppose UDK is reasonably good with that. We can punish them when they revive. So we'll do that. And I'll take Halakath. So, we need to get rid of... I think we need to get rid of Duchess, honestly. So let's see. I think I want the defense. So Zark rightly eliminated my ultimate Death Knight. Now I wish I'd eliminated his Siffy. Siffy's A1 is OP. I'm not going to say it's broken. It's it's not quite broken. It's just really, really, really good and annoying if she's extra fast, which people usually make her. So come on, Zark. What you got? So they're just putting up their buffs. Trying to... Gonna wait for the stone skin to expire. Makes sense. I have expected him to just try to break all the stone skin. All right, so we'll go for the strike off. We'll go for this. And uh, when Helicath gets his turn, we have a decision to make. Do we go for the big nuke immediately? Or do we try to block damage on him? What happens if I just go for it immediately? Mm. It's not quite enough. So Siffy can try to revive 
someone, but she didn't. She just went for A1. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go for Arbiter first. I really want to just get him to go through his revive. So he's going for a revive, I guess realizing he's he's not going to have a lot of time. Youch. Um That is rough. Let's uh let's put up this strength in. And Arbiter can uh Speed everybody up. Okay, this is not going well. Good game, Zark. I gotta, I gotta move this along here. He says. Oh, it's Zark again. I don't especially want to fight Zark again. So, moving things along. Again. Come on, game. Give me an opponent. We got 28 minutes. Of course, if the timer ticks down, then it'll be 27 minutes. Well, since it's been over 30, I guess I got more time to kill. Um, was watching an interesting video yesterday about... Um, about the psychology of, of those who excel at things. We'll, we'll just say that. Because um, you can have two approaches. You can be goal-oriented in, I'm going to have a goal of making a million dollars, or I'm going to have a goal of reaching a million followers, or whatever. And people like that have a tendency to reach their goals, but then stagnate, because they made a goal, but then they reach it. And then they don't know what to do with themselves. But you can have another goal of trying to be excellent at whatever you do. Like, I'm trying to be excellent at this. I, I just started. I don't know how good I am so far. But I am always trying to get better, both in-game and at making videos and at filling dead air. So hopefully I'm doing a good job. But I think one of the keys is do something you're passionate about so that you do feel like doing it every morning. I figure this is a game that I already play. So I might as well try to turn it into something bigger than just the game because it takes up a lot of time, doesn't it? For anybody that's out there doing this. And the case in point, I woke up in the middle of the night cuz my body would not let me sleep. It knew there was a tournament going on, and it knew I had this this chance to get this thing, but it was seriously 3 in the morning for me. I was kind of appalled that I'd woken up at 3 in the morning. But that is how my body works. I think we're going to have to eliminate that Harima. Now I'll bring in these two. Who's my last person going to be? Could be Sun Wukong. Sun Wukong's always a good time. I'll bring Sun Wukong. I'll get rid of Harima. She's basically a nightmare. So I'm losing Alakath. I'll take the... Uh... Do I maybe want the speed? I'll take the speed. I don't want to get horribly outsped. I'm just thinking about it. Alright, you got... You got a Nithui Blood Twin. If he can take out Sun Wukong, he's not going to get back up. 
Then it's going to come down to Fenax. Can I keep Fenax up? I guess we're going to find out. Bam, take a nap. So now he's I guess gonna have to wear down my Fenax. Nobody can revive him, but it's gonna be hard to hit him with UDK on the field. So let's let's try to protect him. Let's get this cleanse off. I'll do the oh, oh, good game, uh, Russian guy. So we got two fights left. I'm actually, I'm actually optimistic we can do it at this point. Don't think we have to hurry so much. As long as this fight doesn't take more than 14 minutes, we will be able to do that final fight. Thirteen minutes now. Thank you, timer. So we'll go for Sun Wukong. No. With Rala. You like how I do that? I always immediately second guess myself. Like I've barely clicked on the thing. And then he takes Sun Wukong. Okay, well, let's take him then. And him. These are good counters to Sun Wukong. I may still ban the Sun Wukong anyway, though. No, it looks like I in totally intend to fight the Sun Wukong with this stuff. Um, maybe I'll take these two again. You know, <clears throat> it looks like bombs would also work pretty well. So on a whim, I'm going to go for the bombs. So he goes for Kaimar. Hmm. So at this point, who do I want to take from him? Because this is very rough. We could take away the increased accuracy. We could take away the Kaimar, because I don't like the reset. We could take away the Trunda. Because that's where the damage comes from. I mean, Sun Wukong, he might be really accurate. He might be high damage. I don't know how he's got him built. Let's find out. Okay, so he's having he's having kind of a rough day. Nobody managed to remove the stone skin from the Rat King. And that means this could be a very short game. This is this is not even skill. This is just pure pure I got lucky. Boom 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 boom. So good game, Crick. So, nine minutes to spare. Let's do our last fight. I don't have to be in a hurry. In fact, I'm going to take my time with this one. 
Looks like the timer is also going to take its time. I don't know, it's still early. 21, 22. How many languages can you count in? Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, sichi, hachi, ku, chu. Who recognizes that language? Let me know in the comments. Um, okay, I'm going to start with Duchess. No, 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 no. Monkey King. Absolutely 100%. I want the Monkey King for this last fight. He's going to be key. In fact, I was talking earlier about a kind of a lazy defense team that I picked up from Tyraku. Uh, I'm not going to use his exact team, even though I have the exact champions. I just like the theory behind the team, and, and I, I have my own variation I like to use. In fact, the variation... Yeah, well, we'll use these... We use these two. I mean, they're always good together. Since so I do kind of like, I do kind of like having the double cleanse. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take these two, and not Duchess. Duchess is my best support champ, so I am deliberately not playing my best here. Um, because my Elva is right now set up for clan boss, so she's good and fast. But she's not as tanky as maybe she should be. And I don't know if her gear is the best choice either. But I've got her in regen, even though she's in the clan boss. I guess she was always designed to be kind of a hybrid champion for me. And maybe that's one of the shortcomings of my account. Is I often build champions as generalists. When at this point, with over 156 stars, I should probably be specializing. Um, so we can even bring Mithrala as another cleanser, and uh, I'm going to need somebody who's going to specialize in damage. I mean, I could just bring a Bomber again, or I could bring Laorius. Laorius is pretty good, honestly. In fact, UDK is probably also a good idea, just just to just to make it harder to hit targets. Although he's got an AOE here, so so why not? We'll do it this way. Right now, I'm thinking I'm almost certainly going to ban Foley. He's going to need more damage. So Vladis. I would advise picking another nuker. Hmm. So th there we go. That's that's pretty well balanced. I'm going to get rid of him just so I don't have to worry about losing someone. I like this combo. So Tyraku's Lazy Defense was actually these three plus Ultimate Death Knight. I just find it's even better to have this. So I've got this. This is my exact setup for the Lazy Defense on my account. So I, I, can't, I can't say it's the absolute best thing I could have come up with. Maybe I'll go with the Resist just for the best chance to uh, not get debuffed. But I don't know how accurate my opponent is. If they've got 700 accuracy. Or particularly with, you know, I should have just gone with the speed. Because particularly with Lady Kimmy, she's got that increased accuracy. They're going to be hitting numbers like a thousand. So I'm not going to be resisting anything anyway. Except maybe with Mithrala. Who would still have benefited better from the accuracy. But this is a team where, in particular, rather than somebody like Duchess, who, who puts out a lot of buffs but can't cleanse, I'd rather have the ability to cleanse. Um, she's the one that I don't want to waste it on.
So let's uh, let's put up some buffs and some hexes. This should knock them about a bit. They don't have any cleansers. Alright, let's uh so let's clean this up a little. And as you can see, like this team's a lot faster than us, but now we're we're just stealing time from them because these uh these hexes pay dividends. Let's target the only reviver on the team. So there's a time limit. Um That's that's pretty much game. So good game, Vladis. All right, and then we got four minutes to spare. Look at that. So let's check the logs. I got four victories plus three victories. Hey, this is a seven victory day. And I even kind of threw in the towel on one, but then again, so did they. So we'll call it even there. So you know, yesterday was a bad day. Today was a good day. You win some, you lose some. And we're at 1,700 exactly. It's pretty cool. Anyway, thank you all for joining. See you on the next video. Take care.